Well, for the first time, the disease known as long COVID was addressed on Capitol Hill, led by Senator Bernie Sanders. The Senate committee heard testimony from long COVID patients as well as experts studying the disease. The focus, improving patient care and advancing research. And according to the CDC, long COVID is really just the name for a myriad of symptoms that continue from or develop after a COVID-19 infection. It can last anywhere from months, sometimes years, and is currently disabling millions of Americans. And there's currently no FDA approved treatment for long COVID. Yeah. So joining us now is one of the experts who testified in the chambers. He is clinic clinical epidemiologist at Washington University in St. Louis and the chief of research and development at the VA St. Louis healthcare system. Dr. Ziad Al Ali, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for being with us. Well, thank you for having me. Delighted to be with you. Yeah, thank you, doctor. Uh, as someone who is a researcher at the uh, forefront of this work, uh, what was the significance of this moment, having government officials listening to your testimony? It, it's a historic moment for the for the long COVID. Um, you know, long COVID itself is a new disease. We, we haven't really, you know, long COVID was really born after you know the COVID nineteen pandemic. It didn't exist obviously b b before the COVID nineteen pandemic. And while we've made a lot of progress in understanding the biology and some of the mechanisms of long COVID, there is, as you point out, there is zero treatment for long COVID. So. Was delighted to hear that the U.S. Senate is really interested in thinking and, and launching this national conversation about how do we, as, as as Americans, how do we, as a USA or the United States, really solve the problem of long COVID? It affects at least 20 million Americans. This is really, you know, a vast number, and, and cure or, or or recovery from long COVID is really quite rare. So so we we need to find solutions for it, and that, I'm delighted that the Senate is is interested in in launching the conversation and how to best proceed forward to address the needs of people who are suffering from long COVID. And you spoke at the hearing because from medical journals to research papers, your work is mostly widely cited on long COVID. So what is something you would like more people to understand about it, especially with 20 million Americans dealing with this? That it's a multi-system disorder. If you've seen one long COVID patient, you've seen, you've seen one long COVID patient. It's, it's a really a multi-system disorder. It can affect the brain. It can affect the heart. It can affect the kidneys. It can affect the gastrointestinal system. It can affect the, the endocrine system. So it's a really a multi-system disorder. Number two, really recovery rates from long COVID are rare. You know, do some people recover? Yes, but the majority don't. And we currently have no treatment for it. So, and, and, and number three, that reinfection also increases the risk of long COVID, meaning that even if you've had COVID before and you've dodged a bullet and you didn't get long COVID, you may still get long COVID upon reinfection the second time or the third time or the fourth time. So really, and, and no one, no one, not children, not older adults, no, no, no one is really totally safe from long COVID. It affects people across the lifespan. It affects, you know, uh, kids. We have kids with, with long COVID and we have people who are 100 years old, 100 years old with long COVID, and affects people across demographic groups. And you, of course, already said your testimony to the Senate committee, uh, but what is your elevator pitch or hope for, for what needs to be done to find a treatment for long COVID or pandemics in general? So we really need to understand why acute infections, why you know this this sort of viral infection produces in some people chronic disease, and this is really mm -hmm. the sort of the big question to really unpack and, and flesh out. And it requires a multi-pronged approach. We need to understand the biology, the mechanisms of this. We need to understand how to best prevent it. And really, far more, most importantly, for the people who are suffering from long COVID, they need treatment yesterday. So these people are hurting. They, they're, they're, a lot of them are really severely disabled, bedridden. They're absent from the from from the workplace. They're absent from school. You don't really see them because they're really bedridden at home. They're they're so disabled at home. So these people need treatment yesterday, and we need to launch mega trials to figure out what drugs work for them, what drugs don't, so we can actually really address their, their care needs as soon as possible. So, so I want a research enterprise that matches the scale and the urgency of the problem. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Dr. Ziana Ali. We appreciate your time and just your expertise on this. Thank you. Well, thank you for having me. Delighted to be with you. Thank, thank you, you, Doctor.